Hi everyone, Ryan here. I'm going to be doing my English walk today. As you can see, it needs doing. There's a tree in there somewhere. I'm going to have to get the grass trimmer out and cut the grass. What I'll do is first I'll start with removing all the weeds. Then we'll come in and start cutting back the great mass of foliage which I've got on this tree. I might even take this back because the welcoming branch on it is getting too long. It's right out here. It's about eight inches past the pot. So that could be getting reduced once I've removed some foliage and see where we're going. I've got the uniform on the day with a cup. <laughs> you can tell it's a school night because I'm having a coffee. We've got some fungus on the trunk, which we're going to have to clean off. There's a kind of bit of work to do. There's a good bit of work in just pulling these weeds out. So what I'll do is I'll get the weeds out. Maybe just speed that bit up a little bit. Then we'll come back and start pruning the york. Uh, if you want any of this crap, it's on my shop on the channel. <laughs> yeah. It's just there for a laugh if you want it. You want it, you did it, you did it. I'm not bothered. The prices, I didn't make the prices up. It was a uh, spread shop. I'd done the prices, so keep your money in your pocket. So I want to take the grass out, I've got a nice clipper. I think we'll just come in like that and just go straight over the top. I will lie. <laughs> right, I'll stop messing about. It's going to be trying to get them out by the roots. It'll only come back. But this tree will want repotting. I think it's this year it'll want a repot. It's been in there about two years now. I'll have to check back on the videos. see what it is there's your fungus mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll just record this bit and speed it up because there uh, and it take a while. So I'll bring the camera over here and then I'll just let you watch us do it. I'm getting the the floor sorted. There's not much moss on the back. It's all dried off where I keep it against the shed. I'm thinking about putting a mirror along the back of the bench to reflect the light since I'm a tinker for not turning the trees. Yeah, we've got a dead branch there which we can remove once we come to clean it up. And we've got one in there. So the next task I'm gonna be doing is cleaning all the, the fungus off the dead wood. I've been doing it as I'm going, but still a bit on. 
As I was cleaning it off, I'm going to bend that out there for now. As I was cleaning it off, I was scraping in there and the wood's starting to rot. As you can see, it's just coming away. So once I've got all this tree done or where I want it to be done at, I'll be treating the dead wood on the tree. But we'll get to that in good due time. So we're just picking away with the fungus. I phoned the pack later so she can give us some white vinegar so I can clean the bark with it to get the moss off the trunk. I could just use a wire brush to get the fungus off but I'm not going to get in there where I've just been or under here so I'm going to have to spin it well there's a load in there now we'll come back to that bit spin it round and as you can see well you can't see it there's a load in there I'll try and zoom the picture in and show you so I'm just going to continue picking away at this scraping whatever I can get into it let's get it off Tada, you little fun guy come on get off there's not much room on there my lovely wife's just been to the shop on her way back from work to give her some white vinegar so she's popped it in for us before she goes to watch the kids play cricket she's a good one all I want to do is put a little bit in the top with a little paintbrush. I was going to put a little bit on because I don't want it to go into the soil. I only want to really do the trunk. So I'll go nicely up the sides so it doesn't run. And I'm just going to paint the, the trunk to get it all out of the crevices. Because if we let it run on the soil, it's going to kill all the moss. It's going to look ugly. I'm also going to give the dead wood a quick paint. If it kills the moss, it's going to kill any fungus what's on it. Also, the vinegar will dry by the time I come to treat the dead wood. I'm going to give the dead wood a coat of lime sulphur before I put the wood harder on later on. I usually mix the lime sulphur with grey paint so it's not white. But for this purpose, I'm really not bothered because it's nowhere near being a short tree. So I'm just going to give it a nice coat of lime sulphur. And what I might do is just run the torch over the top just before it dries and that'll should dull the whiteness down a little bit for us but like i say as if it doesn't i'm not bothered i'll grab my spray bottle just going to give it a quick little dust and let that soak in for a bit i want to soak in a bit we'll come in and put some lime sulfur on
I want to start off by pruning this branch on the right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this branch or get shot of it all together. So it's not overhanging by that much. I'm just going to be taking the growing tips off for now. Whatever's growing up. As you can see, can you see? <laughs> There's loads of new buds in here. So by taking the leaves off and leaving someone, it'll encourage them to pop. I'm only doing this to see what looks all right. Whatever leave I take off, there's a bud there. Take some of the, the bigger leaves off. Like so this going straight up. I'm gonna take it back to the pair of leaves on the bottom so it spreads out. Here's another one going straight up. I want to tear the lot that, that leaf there. <laughs> what the? Big chop coming up. Cut it off all together. There's too much. Then I can pull that round into there to fill that spot. So we took a good bit off it and brought it in. That's if we keep the tree. Yeah, keep the branch, sorry. I'm keeping the tree like. <laughs> Just removing some dead as I'm going. I don't know why I'm playing with this branch because I'm definitely going to tear it off, I think. Continue working up the, the tree. I'll get the round here done. Then we'll come back and revisit it. So this side's pretty much done. I want to move the tree right forward because I want to be working on this side and I don't want to knock that. It will knock if I go too far around. So I might be up and down a bit on this part of the video.
I'm nervous on the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa. That's it for this tree. It's had some more branch placement and a good haircut. <laughs> a canny bit on the floor. I've changed the front of the, the tree to about there somewhere. That's why I've got my markers in. <coughs> I'm still unsure about this bottom branch. That might get ginned or lost off. We'll start the tree from there. But I'll leave it on for now. We you know I was tearing off later on, I could get the gin. I want to treat the dead wood now. All I use is Ron Seal wet rot. I'll say that 10 times. Wet rot wood hardener. I'll pour a little bit in there. Um, I'll suggest either wearing a mask or do it outside. Because it's uh, potent a bit. I know one thing. It'll keep the wife looking bonny for when I get in. <laughs> right, oop, oh, place she doesn't watch me channel. I've got a towel there just to cover the roots a little bit. I don't want it to soak in the roots. Just a little light dusting. It will go shiny, but. Like I see as I'm not showing the tray. All the wood hardeners on. It's starting to go shiny. I'm not really bothered. Like I see it, it's not a short, it's not a short tray. One thing left to do now is clean the pot. Just for water. Can't be asked I can't get any soap. I'll scrub and brush. What all this trouble? We might as well clean the pot.
WD-40. Can it be? <laughs> That draws us to the end of this video of this English walk. Like I said, I'm still favouring gin in this, but leave a comment, say what you think. And this one at the back. Well, the pads can start there. But we'll see with that. I'll put it back on the bench now and I'll just fade it heavily. And some of these new buds will pop. Like they, they should pop anyways. We've still got a tiny bit left for the summer. I might even get a second cut back on this if it grows well I'm quite happy the way it's turned out the old wire what's on hasn't bit in much so I've left that on should be good for this season I'll get it off in the winter then we can have a bit more clear I was going to defoliate this this year but what I've cut off I've left like two maybe three leaves on a pad sometimes a little a couple of more but what I have cut off should grow, so it's a pot. We can call it the mini defoliation of the tree. So that's the end of this video. I really appreciate the sticking around to the end. So as always, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It'll mean a lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da, folks!